Good morning and welcome to our webinar today. Thank you for joining us. Today we have a unique session in cooperation with VDS, which is Europe's number one certification institute specializing in fire protection, security and natural disaster prevention. And our topic will be the application of EM54 fire alarm systems in the Middle East and Africa, special focus on, focusing on Egypt. Before we get started, I would like to share with you some uh, technical related information. We will record the webinar and share it with you together with the presentation. All attendee lines are muted because we would like to ensure the audio quality. Please send your questions via the Q&A section. You can enter your questions during the webinar at any time. At the end of the session, we answer all questions. Let me start with a short introduction about our presenters today. Our special guest speaker is Dr. Florian Schaar, the coordinator of partner relations at VDS. Nada Gandhi, a regional product marketing manager for North Africa, Iberia and Italy. And Mr. Rabishak Ravindran, sales and business development manager. And my name is Anna Balash, the host of this session today. Our webinar is built on four, four blocks. After this short introduction, um, we continue with Mr. Shah's presentation about the application of EN54 file alarm systems, which will be followed by a short introduction about uh, our safety system designer program. And then we would like to introduce some references to you. And we will close the webinar with the Q&A part. And now, I would like to hand over the floor to Dr. Florian. Yeah, that's me, great. Okay, Salam Alaikum, dear experts for fire protection. Welcome to our fine presentation here. Um, I'm sorry we have to do this online, at least I'll be going to Egypt for holidays in two weeks, but I totally hope once all this lockdown stuff is over that we can do a real presentation in person. That's always better. Now, um, why should you spend the next 30 minutes and anyhow care what I'm talking about my institute? Because hopefully in a very few minutes, you will say, yep, this was really helpful for my daily work and business. Um, now, for starters, there's one basic issue I'm hearing a lot from our partners around the globe selling, recommending, installing top safety systems like those of Bosch. Is the customers stating, huh? Fire? Why the heck do I need protection against fire? Because I'm not a chemical plant, I'm not a pizza bakery. There's no chimney, there are no candles in my company, so there can never be a fire. So if this comes up as quite often, I'd like to support you with helpful statistics. If you say, hey, I know all this already, um, give me some hands up in the Q&A box and I'll skip this part. Any study I've seen around the entire world states that the main source of fire in all industrialized countries, so Middle East, Turkey, Germany, is always electricity. Catastrophes like this one pictured can happen from installation flaws, can be caused by simple aging, for example, in the ventilation, in the lights, in the computers, and also in the many sockets located in every single building that can never be switched off. So therefore fire is threatening every single sector, every single building. Every three seconds, a fire breaks out around the globe. Every year, there are 6 billion euros fire damage in Germany and $328 billion fire damage in the United States. 
Now, Germany has an extremely high level of regulation. There was an article recently in a large newspaper headlined the dictatorship of fire protectors, stating examples from, for example, schools um, that hadn't experienced a single spark in 70 years, but still they had to install a voice alarm system or had to do some very expensive building changes. And still, despite this so-called dictatorship, there is, there is a larger fire at a company in Germany every five minutes. Now, a single kilo of burning plastic, um, while the flames themselves are totally harmless, you might only have to do some cleaning on the floor afterwards if you are just regarding the flames. But a kilo of burning plastic creates up to 2,500 cubic meters of highly toxic smoke, contaminating entire rooms and everything within the room. When a computer burns, the product of this combustion is always hydrocyanic acid in the air, which was used as a chemical mass murder weapon in World War I. And it was then banned in the Land Warfare Act because it was so cruel. So unfortunately, if there is a fire, we will have exactly this war weapon banned for use in wars in the offices, in the factories. Studies in Germany show the smoke damage usually exceeds the flame damage tenfold. Another argument often heard by users, customers, many people is that, hey, um, I have insurance. So if there is a fire, everything will be paid for. I don't have to worry at all. Yeah, well, as you see in a picture, after a somewhat larger fire, a company usually looks like this. The ability to provide the company services is massively limited. No matter whether it's a production plant, a shopping center, a stadium or anything else. We have two studies here, one from the United States, one from Germany, showing that one year after a larger fire, only 26% of the affected companies are still in the market. So only one quarter of affected companies is still working. Why is that? Damage is paid by the insurance company, yes. Quite often, even the business interruption is paid by the insurer. Okay, but fire destroys a company's infrastructure and usually special machinery is affected. So here we have a waiting period of at least six months for replacement. And it's also not exactly easy to get a special craftsman needed to rebuild such a severely damaged complex. So core point, after a fire, the companies can no longer supply, no matter how good they are insured. So therefore, even the very best customers are forced to leave because absolutely no customer can wait months, maybe even years for a delivery. And this is what finally forces companies into insolvency after a fire damage. As our partners in the insurance companies say, when larger fires happen, the business interruption insurance only covers the time until insolvency. So let's say enough of these horror statistics give us some good news. I do, but basically you do because you are safely protecting your customers, uh, protecting human lives, also the environment from these bad numbers by relying on the immediate and proven reaction of VDS certified automatic safety systems.
because no matter whether it's the final of the Africa Cup, the World Cup, the Shamal Nesim or Kumhur Yet by Rami, the systems are safely watching 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But as we all know, the systems are highly complex. And now the one core problem with such highly complex technology is how can we ever be able to tell if this is really going to work when a fire happens? If this will reliably protect my customers many years after the installation? No one can ensure that by just looking at these systems. And this is why we are here. VDS is answering for you the one key question for everyone involved in fire protection technology. Will that safely work in an emergency? Because everything else, which specific system it is, the design, even the price is secondary. And that is one core matter is definitely proven and ensured in practice can be seen at first glance with the VDS quality seal. Recognized by authorities in all Middle East, African, and of course, Turkey. Um, you see the last point, the guidelines, quite important. I'll come to that later on. And VDS bases on the European norms. So I'll give you a little background here. In the year 1967, there was a really heavy fire at a mall in Brussels, 251 dead, a really bad number. And yeah, of course, this has an impact on people. So after such heavy catastrophes, of course, there's strong, high pressure from public opinion and from the media on the politicians. Hey, we're not happy waiting for the next 200 plus dead change something so the politicians had experts create european safety norms and you can see a lot of brain is going into the standards in the next slide um basically the target was test methods performance criteria for effectiveness and reliability to be assessed and declared I'm going to read all of this to you now. Oh, sorry, I'm just too funny. Um, just a little slide overview where you can see all the brain power that is going into the European norms from all European Union countries. Now, quite important, the comparison between the European and the UL standards for fire detection control and indicating equipment, the head of what we are basically doing. One question that is quite often coming up on this slide is, um, excuse me, why is that almost all the same? Because we do have a nice idea for safety then of course, if it's good, the Americans also add that. If they have a nice idea and we say, hey, that's good for safety, then we are also adding that, which is basically totally fine. I call that copying for global safety. Now, what we see, there are some differences uh, which I marked in red and green, um, basically, starting with the humidity in many regions of your countries we are probably way closer to the five percent humidity than to the 95 percent from ul the next not red and blue but i wrote this in uh, bold signals is the false signal point in the middle ul calls that a trouble signal this is what must happen if, for example, a detector is being removed 
or is being trashed, which uh, sometimes happen when the cleaning person is putting their broomstick up too high and is hitting the detector. Now, I don't assume that somebody will die because of a 100 second fault signal difference, but we can clearly emphasize that uh, the Bosch products are giving this important warning signal in half the time as UL products. Then you also see red and green, the digital system fault. We think this is very important and I strongly assume that UL will take this into account in the next issue. But currently the status is only VDS approved systems like those of Bosch offer this. The increasingly important software is constantly monitored, mostly by a watchdog program. And if just one single byte is missing or is going into the wrong direction, your customers are instantly informed. Now, one more thing you see is a second point from the bottom, the silencing of sounders. The very first question I asked when I saw this, and which I also hear quite often when presenting this, so I'm uh, giving you the answer straight away is, what? Why would I ever want to silence the sounders? Because, for example, when the fire brigade arrives, they like to turn the alarm off for coordinating their rescue activities. But if a fire breaks out, at any other place within the building, then the alarm does start again. Now you can say, okay, sounds good, but uh, please give us details, give us proof. How can we be sure that BDS safely protects us? Because we are evidencing supreme reliability for by practical endurance specifications in worldwide unique German laboratory infrastructure. So same as, um, for example, underwriter laboratories, we are subdividing the tests into the two main parts, functional testing and environmental testing. Basically, products and systems have to prove that they are effective at all times after artificial aging and under a wide range of difficult environmental conditions. We are using artificial aerosols, we're using real test fires, and for extinguishing systems, we are even using exact replicas of the plant extinguishing environment. So basically, our job is to really badly, heavily mistreat the safety systems and then make sure they still function. So you can see directly at first sight and your customers, authorities, insurers can also see, yeah, this has VDS on it. This will save human lives and entire companies long-term and also under any, even the toughest environmental conditions. Here I have directly underlined the two probably decisive points for you because there's a frequent situations that consultants, planners, installers report to us over and over again. They are to install a fire protection system. And the authorities require compliance with ISO or EN standards, which are mostly quite similar. And maybe the operator states, hey, we are part of an American company. So our fire alarm technology must comply with NFPA requirements. Then maybe the insurance company comes along and demands, yeah, the system must be installed according to VDS guidelines. So, okay, we must cover EN, ISO, NFPA, VDS. When this happens, 
like so often, those responsible, mostly you find listeners, usually ask themselves the one very important technical question, and that is, why me? Well, hopefully, we can make your work much easier here. BDS approved products comply at all times with European standards and almost always with ISO specification. And BDS approved products can always be used in installations according to NFPA 72. For this, we will gladly send you written proof after the seminar. So with BDS, you are directly covering all relevant standards directly done from one source finished. So we are technicians. Uh, that's why I have more technical detail. I'm not absolutely sure you can read this because I will have to go with my nose into the computer to read it. Um, but you will get a presentation afterwards so you can check out all detail if you like. I'll just give you a short overview here. Comparison concerning the heat detectors. Both EN and UL standards are in constant motion and flux. But currently, when you're, for example, looking at point four and five, UL is at the moment not ensuring that the detectors also react in high ambient temperatures. We think this is quite important, especially for the usual heat in most of your countries. Same for the smoke detectors. In case you can read it, point two is the so-called ingress of foreign bodies. Now, why would anybody want to ingress foreign bodies into a smoke detector? This is usually insects. And this was one of the main triggers of false alarms in Germany in spring and summer when loads of insects are flying around. And many Middle East, African, Turkish regions always have German spring and summer temperatures, so a lot of insects. And as we know, frequent false alarms make users hate the technology and make them not react if the real alarm is coming. The intrusion of bugs or other animals can be prevented by a very simple, cheap grid. And I'm pretty sure that in the next version, UL will, of course, reasonably demand this. Point four is the repeatability. We measure the results six times in a row to make sure that the detectors do not just contain a random lag generator. And point six, we perform all tests with 20 detectors to make sure they all react the same way. Okay, we've had so many uh, small and tight numbers and letters now, so I'm giving you some happy pictures. On the left side, you see the smoke duct, which any certification institute has to buy for tests according to the European norms. It creates artificial smoke aerosols, and it measures exactly how many of them are in the air when the detector reacts. On the right side, you see the wooden box um, in which UL puts burning cotton cords and counts the seconds till the detector goes off. Now we have a little system comparison between the American and European approach. What you are doing is product testing and um, they're testing for each single product. Is it working in combination with the control and indicating equipment? And then they have the NFPA guidelines. Same for the European norms, product testing. We also have our own planning and installation guidelines. Um, also BDS with add-ons for optimal safety and precision. But the uh, one core and we say very important difference is the system testing.
Now, this is an important assurance for you and a unique selling point for VDS, the system approval. Because each of us knows this case, we do have a system. Um, let's say 100 parts are installed in there. 99 of those parts are working totally perfect, but one part is scrap. Then there is a pretty good chance that the entire system will not work, cannot save anyone, cannot protect any building. With VDS approved technology, this cannot happen because we always ensure the safe functioning of all components in their interaction as a system. So we may always make sure the system definitely work in its entirety. Also at full capacity, like power for the fire detection alarm systems or the highest water pressure for extinguishers. That's why our approach is called the all round worry free solution by governments, consultants, and other fire protection experts around the entire world. Now, if this is so important, why isn't everybody doing this? Because it's very expensive. If manufacturers change one component, then they have to pay for the entire system test again. But Bosch is doing this is paying this for totally ensuring the proven safety of your services and your customers. Yeah, quite an important slide. Um, since NFPA is a US standard, people sometimes assume, assume listed means UL listed, but NFPA by no means requires that testing and listing shall be based on an American product standard. They are leaving this open by purpose, allowing for solutions that provide an equivalent or better safety level, as is written in Chapter 1.5. What they demand is a regular monitoring of products, which is, of course, done by VDS and any EN institute because it's important, because we want you to get the same quality in the market as we have tested in the laboratories. That's why we are also doing tests in the factory plants. And NFPA wants a competent organization accepted by authorities having jurisdiction. Yes, Medias is number one in Europe and is accepted by authorities all over the world, including, of course, Northern African countries, Turkish, United Arab Emirates, anywhere. So products approved by VDS, which are always also certified in accordance with the EN54 series, can be used anytime in NFPA 72 installations. And also, if um, some of you are also doing gas, NFPA 2001 is also covered. Yes, and as marketing claims, our mission easing safety. Um, we are, of course, accredited by the German state. We are 100% independent. We have 112 years of experience, uh, so we know exactly where to look for finding any flaws and even more important, any risks. And with 30,000 system inspections every single year, if there's any new threats, any new risk, or any new technical possibilities arising, we directly know them and we cover them for our customers.
Now the international cooperations, you can see the FM Global logo there. We are currently deepening our, further deepening our cooperation with FM. So let's see what um, happy things are going to happen there in the future. One thing that might be important, especially for the Northern African countries, is uh, we are founding member of the European Fire and Security Group. And within that group, there's also the French um, AFNOA and CNPP. And we are always accepting each other test results. So um, you can directly change between the French certification or BDS if that's important for you. And if you know any organizations, fire protection organizations in your countries where you say, hey, this is important. Um, why don't you create some nice cooperations? Then just write me a mail or give me some message in the Q&A and I'll see what I can do on this. Now, one more important plus point for you could be important for your work. A very big player in the safety markets are the insurers. So when you're dealing with them, it should be helpful to mention that VDS was founded as the official sprinkler testing laboratory of the German insurers, right when this technology first arrived in Europe. Uh, why only sprinklers? Because in 1908, that was the only safety technology existing. And then we added, so we've been testing every safety technology that has been used in Europe ever since it was first used which uh, should be quite important for giving you some real important backup. And we are still 100% owned by the German Insurer Association with members like Allianz or um, Munich Re, who are also <laughs> quite active in your regions. And since uh, the German insurers are every year paying in Germany only 2 billion euros, for fire damage, they keep a very close eye on fully reliable safety technology. Now we have the guidelines. Um, yeah, we were quite happy when Safety and Construction Press was referring to our guidelines as technical holy books. Also always covering the EN standards and they are preferred worldwide for highest precision and usability. And quite often if a EN or ISO standard is coming up, uh, it is basing on a VDS guideline that has been published years ago. If you want to check out some of them, you just go into the search engine or you go to yeah, basically, Vardias shop de slash em. Uh, the problem is, why is that in italic? They're currently doing an update there. So I'm terribly sorry to say the shop isn't online yet. It will be in a few days. Then with more than 700 publications, most of them for free download. Basically, if you're interested in any of our publications, um, just write me an email. You'll get my mail address in the last slide. And then I can send the publication over to you, the guideline. Also, especially for those of you who are planning and installing fire detection and alarm systems, I've added some info from our planning and installation guidelines. Too much for this presentation now, but um, as I said, you'll get the PowerPoint afterwards, and this will hopefully be supportive for your important daily work. First, some things we say on a choice of detector, a quite frequent question. And then with climate change, this also means uh, more frequent thunderstorms. So we do have a guideline on over voltage protection. Unfortunately, not in English, so uh, you can only download it if you speak German. This is why I have summarized here the main points for you in English, uh, which 
will hopefully also be helpful to your work. So the one core question when it comes to fire protection technology is always, does the whole thing really safely work? And the mission of VDS is to answer exactly this core question for you. You can take off this highly important point and concentrate on all the other difficult planning and consulting issues you need to focus on. We take this very important duty off your back because you will know long-term reliability made visible at first sight. Yeah, finish, Shokran. I hope this was useful to you, to our joint cause of protecting human lives and costly properties and the environment. Yeah, if you like, check the VDS LinkedIn channel for all guideline news. Um, it was a pleasure, and now I'll give over to the Bosch partners. If you have any questions, uh, Q&A box, or just write me an email, I'm on for this. Shokran. Thank you very much, Florian, for the great presentation. So we would like to continue with the safety systems designer in the interpretation of uh, my colleague Nada Gandhi. Nada had some technical issues, so I hope that we could solve it and she's able to present. Nada, the presenter writes at you. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. yes, we can hear you. So this is really to give you a short overview. Okay. So this is really to give you a short overview of about what we call the SSD, which is the safety systems designer. So first question that might come to your mind is what is the safety systems designer? And the answer is very simple. It's a planning tool that was developed by Bosch to help you in your everyday business. So how does it work? First, it helps you with your fire system configuration whenever it is an EN54 fire alarm system. So how does it help you? First, it's an intuitive user interface, so it's very easy to use. Even if you have never used it before, once you open it, it's very user friendly and the user interface is very simple. The second thing that it does for you is that whenever you uh, configure your system, it does for you a constant plausibility check of the system limits. What does it mean? Simply, whenever you try to put devices on your it calculates for you, so it uh, says if it works or not. So the idea is really when you give a solution to your end user, you are sure that this solution will definitely work and you will not have some bad surprises whenever you want to install, such as, for example, you put too much devices in the loop or the power consumption in the loop is too high and your solution will end up not working. So what you need to know also about this solution is that the software is free of charge, so you can simply download it by going to our website and you will check all the links in the next slide. And it's also available in 17 languages. You can simply change the language and close and relaunch the application again, and then it automatically changes to your language, not only for the user interface, but also for all the outputs that you can generate from the safety systems designer. And talking about the outputs that you can generate, uh, what are those? So simply you can generate the bill of material. So once you finish configuring your systems, etc., you can start uh, generating the outputs. It can be a bill of material, as I said. It can be the tender text. And the good thing about the tender text is that it will make you save a lot, a lot, a lot of time during your work uh, because simply you will not 
write it from scratch. You will just take what the system is giving you, what the uh, software is giving you. And the good thing also is that this is a word format document, <laughs> which means that you can change whatever or whatever you want in this document. So it's a neutral text. It doesn't give uh, any uh, wording about Bosch, but still, if you don't like something or if you want to add or remove something, you can still do it because it's in Word format. What does for you also in terms of outputs is that you can do all the battery calculation in the system and generate it also. And you can configure all, all the panel and blue parameters and also to take the outputs from what I also interesting in here is the system drawing so whenever you finish configuring your system you can only with one click generate the drawing and then you have a complete folder that you can hand out to your uh, client or customer so this uh, safety systems designer is for the um, is for the um, uh, the consultants it can be used also by uh, system integrators if they are also working in in planning and it can of course also be used sometimes even by end users so whenever you want to use it it's free of charge and as i told you the idea is really to help you save time first and then be sure that what you deliver to the market are solutions that will work technically. So with this plausibility check of the of the limits with with this um, calculation of the loop capacity, you are sure that you will have something that will work. So uh, this is actually regarding the safety systems designer. We just uh, wanted to give you an overview. Uh, and as I told you in the next slide, uh, Anna, can you please go to the next slide as I cannot move the slides? Okay. No. Can you see it now? So here, actually, you can, can you see, see. Yes. So here you can see all the useful links which are related to the safety systems designer. So you can have first the link to access the download page. So there you will open the website page where you can download all the available tools from fire alarm systems. Or you can use the second uh, link, which will give you um, directly the zip file, and then you can start the installation directly. And we have also for you a third link, which will lead you to the web based training, which is in our training platform. So this is a kind of 20 minutes tutorial that will take you through the safety systems designer and show you exactly how to use it in case you need it. Because um, I have seen people who have never worked with fire and who could um, perfectly understand what the user interface wanted to to say to them so it's it's really intuitive and of course in case of any questions you can still come back to us thank you very much nada thank you now we are going to continue with Welcome. some references hi good afternoon i hope i'm audible yes we can hear you and uh, i just and over the presentation yep. right to you, please. Thank you, Anna. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shah. It was a nice presentation giving a complete insight about what VDS is into and what tests uh, you undergo for the safety products, not just Bosch, but overall safety products. Thank you, Nada, for giving a good presentation, presenting our design software. Basically, planning is very important before you install a system. So planning, when it comes to consultants, when it comes to end users, when it comes to system integrators, when it comes to distributors, it's very important. And that's what our SST software can do. Uh, now, coming to references, uh, I'm uh, going to talk about some of the major references in the Middle East region. But of course, you know, Bosch fire system, it's not just in Europe or in Middle East, it's throughout the world. We have many, many installations. And the installations are not just limited to, let's say, one building. We have, or one type of building. We have installations in hospitals, in universities, 
uh, in shopping malls, in hotels, in industries, in oil and gas. So, so the fire system is not just limited. Now, what you, what I'm going to talk first about is one of the major installations which we have done uh, some years before. But why I'm presenting this because the installation is growing. Here you could see 100 panels which are installed in one of the ports in uh, UAE, and it's in the fire panels are installed in onshore and offshore. Uh, the, the number you see in the uh, count of the panels are not just 100. Of course, it's going more than that. Uh, one of the reasons of selecting Bosch is that the customer needed a reliable system. The customer needed a system with less false alarms. The customer needed panels which can be networked because the buildings uh, were not close to each other. Roughly, the distance between the buildings where the panels are installed is more than uh, 10 kilometers. Of course, at the time of the installation, it was around uh, our systems could uh, meet uh, 16 kilometers. But now with the technology, with, with fiber, with Ethernet networking, we can have up to 40 kilometers. And here we have a management system which is managing all the fire systems which are installed in this port. Of course, there are also port in other Emirates in UAE, which has been also managed by the central management software. Now I come to the next reference. This is a hospital project in another Emirate in UAE. And here we have around 6,000 plus detectors. The reason for selecting Bosch is that they need a detector with some future technologies because there are n number of detectors in the market, but they need a detector which can stand or which can detect EMC radiations because EMC radiations is one of the main uh, reasons for the false alarms. And that is one of the reason our system was selected in this project. Uh, the other reason the, the hospital authority, they needed a, a voice evacuation system, which has to be completely integrated, not in hardware, but over the software. So, uh, so th this is again a hospital project where we have our fire system, our voice evacuation system, and our management system installed. The other project, which has been recently installed with Bosch, and uh, together with our management software is the city center, again in another Emirate in UAE. Of course, this is the second mall project from the same end user. And here, uh, the reason is that uh, the customer needed a scalable system because as you know, uh, the, shop, the, uh, the shopping centers has uh, retail shops which comes time to time, which gets sometimes replaced. But of course, they need a system which can be expanded, which is also uh, degradable, meaning to say the even if the new system comes in the market, it has to be also connected to the previous system. This particular shopping mall, what you see, also have uh, around 45 nodes. Like, uh, that's a combination of fire panels and repeater panels. And here we have also individual fire panels which are installed in 350 shops. So meaning to say around three, uh, approximate 400 panels of Bosch has been installed in this huge shopping mall. And here we also have the management system to manage all the fire panels. And plus, uh, this has been integrated also. And the integration is also special here because we are not integrating any virtual point over here. We give the real status of each and every detector, which is also important when it comes to major installations. So uh, one thing I wanted to also underline because Bosch uh, uh, fire division, uh, as maybe some of you may be knowing, we introduced the first fire panel in the year 1920. So it's been more than 100 years we are in this industry. And of course, we spent a lot in research and develop, development, producing, uh, especially in detection technology, we invest more and we come up with fascinating products. So with that, uh, I conclude. On references, of course, what I've shown is just few references. If you have any questions, if you have uh, further project requirements, please feel to reach me. Thank you Thank very you. much, Abhishek. So uh, we continue then with uh, the Q&A part. 
maybe we can start with this uh, Florian. Uh, what is uh, VDS mean? Originally, uh, no. Um, originally, VDS is the German translation for Verband der Sachversicherer, the um, Association of Insurers of Buildings. Um, they had us create the seal by this assurance. The VDS companies, they then, uh, the insurance companies then joined the German Insurer Association, as it is called now, but we have kept the VDS name because, um, yeah, because it's a really well-known trademark. But in uh, the international regions, we just uh, say VDS means inspected, approved, safe. Thank you. Thank you. So somebody is asking if uh, we are uh, sharing the presentations. Yes, uh, within a couple of days, we are uh, going to, to send you the video, the, the link to the uh, recording of the session together with the presentation. Okay, there is one, one question coming. Uh, how often the BDS carries tests on uh, the, the products, you know, coming from X or Y manufacturer. Yeah, we're or, doing this. Uh, yeah, the certificate validity. Um, the certificate is valid for four years. And then we are doing tests at least once a year directly in the factories. And in case we find anything which is not exactly the same as the technology, that has been tested in the laboratories, then we come by more often. But this seldom happened because uh, manufacturers know it. So validity of four years and it's tested every single year again for optimal safety. And how the association with the uh, local authorities, do you have a direct uh, a relation with the local authorities or uh, because because VDS has been approved by all the laborate, I think, with by the all civil defenses in the region, correct? Mm -hmm. So this means also that you are associated or the civil defense authorities also time to time comes and inspects the VDS laboratories. They sometimes do, um, usually in the past one and a half years of this nice lockdown, we have been um, delivering video shots of our laboratories and that was enough but usually when vds is first accepted by a local authority then they come by and visit our laboratories thank you Flori. we get a question uh, about sharing the link to download the safer the systems designer so probably you can see so these are the links where you are able to to check and download the content uh, Abhishek, we had uh, some questions from yeah, Pakistan. Nada? Nada, we cannot hear you. Yes. Can you hear me now? now? We can hear you. Could you please repeat it? Yes. Yes. I think she wanted to, uh, I mean, the links where we can download the safety system designer. That's what it is displayed. Mm -hmm. And somebody is asking. Are, um, somebody... For Nada, I see a question here is VDS yeah. is also accepted in Saudi Arabia. Yes, um, full acceptance in Saudi Arabia also. Somebody is asking if the safety system designer specific to Bosch products only. Yes. Abhishek, could you please uh, answer yes, the question yes, from Pakistan? Yes, yeah. Thank you. This is yeah, the, yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's a good question. Of course, the Bosch products have been detailed in the system design uh, software where you will find, of course, the Bosch products, but. Uh, whereas, uh, if you wanted to design a system where you know the number of detectors, where you know the number of signaling devices, where you know the number of interface devices, with the new release, mostly 
this month you will get a new release where you can simply put in an excel sheet of course we have a format and, and it's possible yeah so so the thing is go ahead please okay yeah so what i mean to say is that of course the specifications those things can can be also modified a bit and can be made generic at the same time by knowing the number of devices the types of devices you will also you can also see a system uh, that is needed for your project uh, like the number of loops uh, the number of panels that are needed yes Any more Somebody is asking if there are any huge references uh, in Pakistan. Uh, uh, he means with more than uh, 10,000 devices. I need yeah. to check or reference database and then we can go back yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I can say that in Pakistan, we have installations, like I mentioned, we have installations in industries, one of the software manufacturing plant the Bosch fire system in the recent times, in the shopping mall, in the hospital, which is also one recent uh, mega project, in a pharmaceutical company. Yes, we, we have the references. Of course, the official references we can look and then we can share it. We had some questions about distributions in Cameroon, Lebanon, branch offices. Uh, whatever we have, uh, I'm going to, to send. Uh, with you okay which is about also africa yeah, and the middle east offices thanks anna uh what is the equivalent standard for ul 268 seventh edition in bse in standard domain florian could you please help us um, yeah, just give me a second. What was the question again? What is the equivalent standard for U UL 268 7th edition in BSE and standards domain? Yeah, terribly sorry. I can't say that. I have to check with the laboratory. I don't know this UL standard. Um, can you write me please your mail address and I can check that and I'll come back to that. Um, another question about SSD. Can we integrate the CAD drawing with this software? Uh, this is something which we are cooking, which we are working on it. And of course, we expect this release to happen soon. Yes, as far as I know, uh, second quarter next year, at the end of first mm -hmm. quarter, so something, yeah, coming soon. Uh, what is the recommended type of detector in chemical storage? Abhishek, probably you can answer this. Yeah. This can be a flame detector, uh, intrinsically safe uh, uh, thermal detector, uh, also can be uh, installed in this. Another question, please, can you clarify the smoke management panel requirements as per EN standard? Do, uh, does Bosch have solution for smoke, man smoke management panel? Of course, Bosch has uh, the solution for the smoke management system. In the mall project, which I presented in the last in the reference presentation, we have installed a smoke management system. Of course, it's been locally made the uh, the panel itself uh, but from the bosch we provided the input output modules and the led modules and uh, the system works as per the end user authority requirements Revit family available i assume Revit files uh, yes we have the beam files And actually, yeah, we have and of course, 
Yeah, we are also because we have back uh, at our headquarters uh, MKA team uh, who is also supporting. If there is some specific questions on BIM or Revit related, we are more than happy to support. If there is something specific, you can reach to us and then uh, with the expert, we can support. And then as uh, I can see, this is a high topic. I'm in BIM. I'm also going to add uh, the special link uh, uh, into uh, the follow-up mail when you are able to download all these Revit files currently available. Does fire monitoring system support third-party detectors? Third-party detectors, of course, it, it's, it's uh, the special detectors can be connected to a fire system using an interface module. Is Bosch FAS system compatible with other FAS controller and detectors in the market? Um, if you see fire industry, it works totally different from the security industry where you see mm -hmm. maybe a CCTV system, maybe a PA system, you know, they use common protocols, but fire, because of the safety st standards, every manufacturer has their own proprietary protocols, like let's say LSM is one of the technology which has been used in Bosch fire products, maybe the CAN for the networking, uh, maybe the internal CAN for the internal module communication. So when it comes to an interface with the third party fire systems, we go generally with a hardwired integration by using input and output modules. But still there is a solution also with some of the management softwares, uh, like for example, our BIS system, which also integrates not just for, uh, Bosch fire system, but it, it can integrate any other third party fire system that works uh, with uh, OPC protocol. Thank you very much, Abhishek. Anyway, in my part, I cannot see more questions. So then I'd like to thank you for your uh, uh, great presentation, Abhishek, uh, Florian, and also for Nada, and also for our dear guests. Thank you very much uh, for, for joining us. As said, uh, uh, I'm uh, sharing uh, the presentation with you within a couple of days and in case of having any further questions please do not hesitate to contact uh, the presenters contact us at uh, firesolutions.bosch.com thank you very much bye bye nice thank you bye. everyone bye bye have a nice afternoon bye bye thank you bye